Hello, my name is Remy Sharp, and this is the latest version of JSBin. Uh, this is it's been released on the uh, 21st of uh, June. It's version 2.8. There is a version 3 that I'm working on, um, which but it's a little bit further down the uh, the line. Um, it's just a brief introduction to uh, a few of the new things. Basically, the UI at the top has changed just a little bit. Um, we've still got the code and render view, um, but I've now exposed the, um, the real-time preview as well. Um, and the download button. And uh, the difference between the real-time preview and the render is that the real-time preview will strip out things like prompt, alert, and so on, so that when you type, it can keep updating the uh, the output. So I can get rid of this, um, and I'll update the, the real-time preview over here. Uh, let's get rid of this HTML tab. Um, can I have this new version? Um, so it's updating that in real time. If I put an alert box in there, it's not going to pop up the alert box, but it will allow me to keep writing uh, some code. Um, I've also moved the uh, the error feedback so that we can click on individual errors. So I'll show you a few more errors in here. Um, let's put something down there. So there should be three errors now. Before you could only click on uh, the error output and it would jump to the first one. Now we can jump to uh, the specific uh, errors. Oops, let's put that semicolon at the end and get rid of that, and then that fixes that. Um, the other thing is we can resize the, uh, the different windows, um, and that should save when you refresh the window, uh, refresh the uh, JS bin or go back to it later on. Uh, you can see there's some tips down at the bottom. Currently there's only a couple in there. Um, if you want to add your own tips, then just pull the project, add to the JSON file and uh, send me a pull request, and it will go out to everyone else. Um, so here it's telling me that there are uh, keyboard shortcuts. So if I do uh, control shift question mark, it shows me some of the keyboard shortcuts, things like code completion. Um, so if we get rid of this line here, um, so I start typing document, hit escape, fills it out for me. Dot get, hit escape again, foo equals dot inner. And there we go, we can do things like that. So um, have a play. Uh, if you find any bugs, please do um, send me a bug, uh, set, file a new bug. Um, I'll put the URL down at the bottom of this uh, the screencast. Um, it should work in uh, all the latest browsers. I've worked on it to make sure it works on in IE7 as well, so that you can um, share your your JS bins with other people and debug uh, any problems. It'll work on things like an iPad as well. Um, and you can download your, your saved output. You can actually be able to drag and drop uh, the, the files into the different windows, and that'll read them, um, and lots of other bits and bobs. So I'll be running some extra screencasts on specific functionality. Um, but again, let me know if you have any feedback. Thanks for watching.